All right, so we're day two at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. Well, day one was King's Dominion, now we're at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. And I just got through security, got all my GoPro equipment ready to go. And I think we're gonna go right over to Pantheon for the first ride. I wanna to try to get a front row um, POV of that roller coaster. And then we'll go from there. We're all running to Pantheon. All right, so I just got my third roller coaster of the day. So I started off on Pantheon, got a front row ride, and then did Tempesto, got a front row ride. <laughs> I just got off Apollo's chair again, front row ride, because I'm trying to get POVs. Overall, every roller coaster so far has been great. Their dispatches are a little on the slower side. Um, like, I think uh, Tempesto was doing about three and a half minutes. Um, Apollo's Chariot, I was expecting it to be a little bit faster. It's doing somewhere between, like, I think it was like two and a half minutes, uh, maybe a little bit faster. And I didn't actually get to time uh, Pantheon yet, but just judging by when I was standing there in the queue, it's probably like three and a half, four minutes of train, which is pretty slow. Um, I mean, I know it's a new coaster, but um, yeah, that height requirement definitely um, is a hindrance in their dispatches because um, if you're just a tad around 6'4", 6'3", 6'5", they're pulling people out of the train, checking their heights. But um, 
I mean, it's still a great ride, but yeah, I was kind of hoping their dispatch would be a little bit better. I'll, I'll time it later so I can get a more accurate number, but I mean, that's how it is so far. So how was it, Braylon? Huh? I didn't like it. Oh, you didn't like it? What was your favorite part? It's been a non-stop day going roller coaster, roller coaster, getting POVs. Um, pretty good POVs, a couple eh, here and there, but um, it's been a good day, pretty hot day. Um, Braylon rode Lock This Monster and she liked it though, which is a little surprising. Yesterday she rode, um, actually it wasn't yesterday, it was the day before, she rode Anaconda and she wasn't a fan. Jeez. Kind of wondering if she'd like Loch Ness Monster, but she does. Um, and she also rode Verbolton, and which you saw earlier. And she wasn't a fan of the in, uh, the like the building, but she seemed to like everything else, and she loved the like the uh, the free for all drop. But go figure.
about now. We're gonna be here for a few more hours. Um, yeah, there goes the Loch Ness Monster. Right behind me. Um, we're gonna be hanging out here till the fireworks, and that'll be it for Bush Gardens. Well, I was trying to get a second ride on Pantheon today, and I walked up and it said it was a 40 minute wait, but then I looked, I was like, well, the queue isn't really that long. And so I got in line, and I walked, and I was like, basically a, almost a station wait. And I was like, oh, this is not long. And then I glanced over and I realized they're only running one train. And the station just packed full of people. So yeah, that 40 minutes, it's probably actually closer to like an hour, because I hate it's very good, but their dispatches on Pantheon are just not good. I, I really don't know why, it's just this simple restraint, but yet it's like three and a half, four minutes every time they're dispatching a train, and that's not including the ride time since it's only a single train right now, so it's going to be pretty long. But so yeah, it's disappointing. I'll get another ride, but I mean, I've had plenty of rides. Um, my front row ride earlier I thought was fantastic. I mean, it's still a great ride. It's definitely running faster than it was back in the spring. Um, the airtime's a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I think my overall take of what I said in my review, I'm pretty much going to stick behind.